and welcome back to the MLG 2K. I am Mr. X, and I am joined by Turbo, and we are bringing you Strictly Business against Dare. Two very good teams. I believe Strictly Business had just beaten Optic, and Dare has actually uh, just beaten TK. So, you know, two very good teams going out. You know, these new rosters online, it, some things don't quick click as well as land, so it happens. So I am on board with Fears right now, and he is just locking down the green street. Uh, he is, and right now I'm watching Sensor, though, as he's uh, in B with, I think that was a... Uh, Realized that was realized in fact, yeah. and now they're going to rotate uh, back to C as Sensor does spot someone coming around the corner. That was going to be Wolf able to shut him down, and it looks like that Sensor is going to get the C cap for himself. He is, and that's going to put him up in the lead just a little bit. So, uh, already 10 8 with uh, two flag caps, and the B flag right now is getting contested. And let's see if Sensor can shut him down. He does, but he gets taken out himself. Yeah, and, you know, they get uh, three down right there for uh, Strictly Business, and Dare is able to take B. And, you know, I really I really like this Strictly Business lineup. You know, Sensor, former national champion, he's a gr great player, extremely dedicated. He knows what it takes to win. And then Fear is actually a former uh, Complexity member at the beginning of Black Ops 2. They had won Fred Cup 4 with him, got second at UMG Chicago with him. And right. from whatever, every time I hear people talk about fears they talk about how good he is at the beginning of games and just how talented he is and we saw that at columbus they placed extremely well yeah he really does he starts things off uh, really really quick or really really great in the beginning and uh right now we're gonna see as uh b i'm sorry is gonna get contested as well as c but looks like that strictly business is gonna cap c for themselves i'm watching realize right now who's right outside the b flag sees one player that is gonna be demented sitting in that little ladder room and he gets taken out though and now we're gonna watch the man we were talking about that is gonna be fierce pushing over into the war room right by a breaking through the glass and it looks like he's gonna go on a uncontested yeah you know i love this play from fears you know when your team is getting locked down at b the first thing that you should do is try and get to a see if you can neutralize it if you can cap it even better and then you're gonna force spawn that team in mid map they usually spawn either in the server room by green or in the bottom snake area down the staircase to his left so you know it forces the other team to make a choice. So they want to go to back to C or to A, and then you can take B back. Yeah, right now, though, Strictly Business is losing C, and it doesn't look like anyone's quite in the position just yet to go for A. Oh, and that's going to be two down as Wolf is going to get a nice knife into Apathy there. And right now, I'm watching Fears. He is pushed over right by the grid room. Is going to take a player out. That is going to be Nox from uh, that is Dare. And Fears, though, gets shut down by Modi. So let's take a look. And it looks like they're all just uh, really spread out here, Matt. There's yeah. no real uh, direction that Strictly Business is going after. You know, I really don't like the way Strictly Business played that. And I'm very much going to tell you why. Because when they took A, they had A and C. And they were forcing the team to go back and either pick which one they were going to go for. C or uh, oh, A. Oh, four down. Yeah, that's four down. So, I mean, they're going to take B back. But what I would like to have seen there is when... Strictly Business saw they were taking C back. I would have liked them to hop B because you know they almost have almost one or two guys taking C back. It would have been a four on two gun battle at B and you would have been able to take it back a lot sooner. Uh, you're right. And right now I am watching Sensor as he's just sitting very red right there in B. It looks like he's going to push for some spawns. They're being a little bit aggressive here. But as I say, that A is going to start getting uh, contested by the guys from Dare. And they are going to try and cap it. They just neutralize it, though. B gets capped by Dare. So Dare has A, or I'm sorry, C and B. A is only going for strictly business right now with a minute on the clock. And they're down about six points. And it's still going up. Yeah, and I mean, Dare pretty much did exactly what I wanted Strictly Business to do. You know, they had those two, <laughs> they've had those two outsides. They neutralized A, and once they saw Strictly Business go to A and try and take it back, they jumped on B, took B back, and they still have their home flex. You know, great plays right there out of Dare. You notice I have the scoreboard up, Ooh. and you, you don't see the Dare lineup winning the slaying battle. It's actually pretty, pretty handily in the favor of Strictly Business, you know, but Dare is just working the map a lot better right now. Yeah, and even taking a look at that, the caps too are on the lower side for Dare as well. And uh, six caps for Sensor on a Strictly Business doesn't really reflect the scoreboard much at all. No, yeah, you know, in, in Domination, you know, sometimes, sometimes the lower cap number isn't bad because that means you capping and you're holding those flags right. for a long time. You know, when 
Sometimes, like uh, I know a, a team oh. like uh, a team like Just Us, for instance, they like to play at an extremely fast pace, and you know they really never they, they get two flags, and then you kind of just keep rotating that third flag. You know, when you're trying to take one, they take another one. So it's all preference on how people play. But I'm actually extremely impressed with this Dare team. Do they play that actually pretty perfectly? Yeah, and uh, the scores reflecting back on it is uh, let's see, it's fourteen and thirteen for Nox from Dare, and on the other side though, thirteen and nine for Sensor, along with uh, six caps. So definitely uh, getting his slay on, but also he's being the, the objective player in that regard. So uh, another side to it is we're going to swap sides as it was uh, eighty-four. 67, so 17 point lead. 17 point. I'll write for, that down uh, so we remember. I'll write it down. Yeah. My little, take, my on little, your notes. My little, my little strategy page. I'm just going to write, <laughs> I'm just gonna write 17. I'm going to put a big circle around it, and that's what I wrote down. Make sure you put uh, for, uh, for Dare, too. Yeah, yeah, Dare, Dare. Dare won that first one. I'll remember yeah. that. And it looks like <laughs> okay. I want to be on board with Dare this time because yeah. they won. We got to show them love. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually looking at Demented right now. And he is rocking that MTAR with a red dot site that we don't see too many people use. I believe we did see Moho use it on Pro Scrims. Uh, I believe it was last week. It was Fear. I'm trying to think who Fear played. They Fear played Xor, who doesn't exist, but it was like Methods. It was a uh, Liar and a few and two other players. I believe it was Spacely and another one. So you know, like, yeah. I mean, we have seen people use it and do work. So I'm very interested to see how uh, Demented is going to come out and play this. Right now, I'm watching Modis. He's going to go for the B-cap. Spots a player around the corner of his eye. That was going to be Fears, and Fears is going to be the one sitting on B right now. Gets a two-piece, taking out Wolf as well as, as well as Nox. Right now, I'm watching Demented, though, as he's going to push up into this uh, the bottom middle area, and he's going to push through, like you were talking about in the beginning, to throw them off their, uh, throw them off their game a little bit, throw some spawns off, and maybe flip them around the other side so they can get a safe cap here on A. Absolutely, and I mean, I do like that play right now. You know, you're going to put a ton of pressure on Strictly Business, and, you know, right now they are at least two capped. You know, it looks like Nox is going to go over, and he's going to save B. And, you know, that, oh, he's doing work. And yeah. they're just on fire right now. I mean, these guys from Dare are just they're playing out of their minds right now, and, you know, Nox is going big, man. Yeah. No, Nox, right now watching me, he's going to get another one. And taking out Realize, he's going to push back because he knows the spawn. So that is a smart play. And the spawns do flip over to A side. And they're losing all the flags right now, though. But, but Nox, this down. guy cannot be shut down. Mind you, I mean, he's sitting at a 7-2 and two already. Uh, and we've only been in the game for about maybe a minute. Yeah, and you, know, you know, Turbo, to be honest, this is really, this, to, uh, this I'm very shocked by this. You know, they're pretty much dominating Strictly Business, who... I mean, they have four extremely talented players, and I mean, Sensor, Realize, Fears, and uh, Apathy. So, I right. mean, I'm 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 pretty shocked at this result right now. I, I do not I know Wolf. He was on VVV. We played them at UMG Atlanta. I know Modi I, from just online tournaments and stuff. The other two guys I'm not too familiar with, but I'm extremely impressed with this lineup right now. I cannot say enough good things about them. No, with 2 minutes and 49 seconds left on the clock, Nox, on board man. with Nox, still, as he was able to get a kill while he was stunned, though he did get shut down while he was trying to cap the B flag. Watching Modi as he's going to try and defend B, but he gets quickly taken out there uh, by, I think that was going to be Apathy from Strictly Business. Yeah. And 46-27, 19-point lead, adding on the 17, 36-point lead right now for Dare over Strictly Business. Right, and I'm on board actually with Wolf right now, and I just want to point out something. He's using that Flash Suppressor, and we've been seeing a lot more players using it lately. You know, I know Gunjar, he has always used it on TK, and we're seeing tons of other players use it too, and it improves accuracy. And, you know, for a submachine gun player, I mean, it's huge that right. you need that accuracy, especially, if, I think it adds accuracy when you're scoped in and when you're hit fired. So. Definitely an attachment that's underused now that I think as we keep progressing with just the meta of the game, we're going to see more and more players use. Right now, watching Modi as he was going to try and defend B, but gets taken out there by Sensor, who's sitting on the B flag right now. And then let's switch over to Wolf as he's going to push for that A. Doing that play that you talked about again, uh, Mr. X, as he's going to try and throw him off their game a little bit with a 20-point lead. I think they're comfortable with just sitting around and pretty much rolling 
and doing whatever they feel like in this map. Yeah, and you know, I sh if you're strictly business, you really can't let that happen. I mean, you let Dare win by 17 on the first half, so, I mean, it's pretty much, they're going to, I think it's pretty much almost mathematically impossible, to be honest, for them to come back. Right. And, uh, you know, but right there, you have to do a better job of guarding your home flag. You know, uh, the Dare team is spawning at A. They know they're going to be on C. I'd like to see them try and just hop B right here. You know there's one player, strictly business, who's apathy in B. And, I mean, you know, I, I really, I, I can't say enough good things about this Dare team. I'm extremely impressed with the way they're playing. You know, their movement around the map is pretty spot on. And, right. you know, it's, when you can win those games without out slaying the other opponent, that's when you're playing very well, in my opinion. Because, you know, you're not relying on just dominating the kill feed. You're, you're playing the game the right way. And I, I'm just extremely impressed with Dare right now. They're absolutely right, and even though kills aren't always uh, the uh, the way to judge a game, just taking a look at the scoreboard here, Mr. X, 19 and 9 for Nox. Yeah, that guy went off, man. I mean, he just straight from the beginning, he was definitely getting his slay down, and they were holding the map. So they played this one pretty much to the T, teaching strictly business how to play domination. Yeah, you know, and I, I'm I'm extremely shocked. I can't stress that enough. I know when uh, yeah. when this game was starting, I was really pumped out to see this new strictly business lineup. So, uh, they they actually it's uh they replaced too quick with realize, and I mean too quick played very well in Columbus. I just think he wanted to take a break from uh, gaming. I think that was really the reason why uh, he just kind of stopped. But I mean, I was expecting really great things. Realize is an amazing slayer, extremely aggressive player. But, you know, it a, still goes back to those crazy team changes we all had this week, Turbo. I mean, yeah. every every team really switched up just main components of your rosters. Not really, like, it wasn't just a few players going here and there. Every team pretty much changed the main cog in their lineup. So it's extremely, I mean, with Philly coming up next month, I mean, it's so much fun to watch, to be honest. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Dare is going to be out there in Philly and yeah. as well as Strictly Business. So I'm going to look forward to seeing them on the LAN action as uh, we did just see them pull off an almost 100 point half on that side, which is yeah. almost unheard of on, uh, or I haven't seen it yet on Domination. Yeah, I mean, uh, on Octane Domination, you can do a few, uh, you can get a 100 point half. It's, it's, I mean, there's a good spawn lock you can get. Right. But, I mean, on a map like Sovereign, you really don't see it too much. So, I mean, that was just great gameplay out of Dare. So, when we come back, we are going to have Search and Destroy on Octane, it looks like. Dare against Strictly Business with Dare up 1-0 into the series. So, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.